Hi, this is just a little quick overview of how I've got the new RadioMaster TX16S set up with uh, Dragon Link and Telemetry and Mission Planner. So, uh, first of all, the TX16, I like it a lot. It seems a lot higher quality radio than the jumper. The uh, sticks are fantastic. They're like high-end Futaba sticks. They feel so good. Better than the Horus, for sure. And um, the battery pack is really big on it. I was able to make my own uh, 26800 pack out of two 26800, 6800 milliamp hour uh, cells and I 3D printed a different uh, cover to go on it so it will fit easily. Um, other than that it works like uh, any of the large screen OpenTX radios. One uh, disappointment the volume is really low on it. Even That's on maximum volume. I'm not sure why it's so low. So I have an aircraft with a Pixhawk in it already uh, powered on sitting outside. So this is the uh, Yapu telemetry widget running on on the radio itself. On the Dragon Link, I've uh, installed the MAV to pass through firmware directly on the internal ESP32 on the Dragon Link, so there's no external chip required. It just takes the uh, telemetry signal from the Dragon Link out and into the bottom pin on the module bay connector, and then you've got uh, signal, power, and ground as normal going up to drive the Dragon Link. So uh, page mode selects Yapu, or the text strings that have come from Yapu, and then uh, it's simultaneously outputting to my home Wi-Fi network right now. So over here on the laptop, I can run Mission Planner. And the laptop, of course, is on the same network as the rest of the stuff. So I can tell Mission Planner to connect. Okay, it's got connection going to the SP32. It's downloading all the parameters. The uh, aircraft I'm using has a Pixhawk in it, and it has the latest Dragon Link uh, micro receiver with the six pin ESP or UXP3 connector, which enables slow control, which downloads super fast, as you saw. There's the full parameter sync. Now I can go in here. You know, flight plan, uh, read the waypoints from the aircraft. And uh, then zoom out a little bit. You can see the full flight plan that it got from the aircraft. You can go into uh, configuration. Look at the, there's all the parameters, uh, about full parameter tree. Say we wanted to uh, do something with airspeed, like um, airspeed autocal. Looks like airspeed auto autocal happens to be on, so we'll turn off airspeed autocal. Right parameters. That change is written back to the aircraft now. So that's pretty much it. You can fully configure everything about your plane over the Dragon Link link once you've got it set up. And now uh, we can go back here and see the live data from the aircraft. Meanwhile, back on the radio, the same thing. You can see uh, altitude and heading and pitch, and power consumption, and me messages, and everything else. All fully functional simultaneously. No extra wires, nothing. That's it.